You all right there, ladies and gents? How's it going? I'm out on my angry bee. More people pull out in front of me. <laughs> um, yes, out on the kickstart, out on the 750. Out for a little play. I did take this down to Conqueror's Apparel the other day for their late night bite night. Um, and yeah, yeah, mistakes were made. <laughs> and keep that bite from a down. Yeah, mistakes were made about uh, halfway into the journey down there. I ended up getting a puncture, and I'm pretty sure I picked it up when I stopped to set my sat nav up into my headset. Um, yeah, so it meant that every 15 minutes I was having to find a petrol station and fill the tyre up with air again. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have gone home when I got it, but the way I saw it was I was going to be able to get it fixed no matter what. I've got AA recovery, so I just kept pumping it up. And it was fine, but it was just a, a little bit sketchy on the corners once it was getting down towards the lower pressure that it was settling out. It didn't go completely flat, but it, it, it was flat enough to affect the handling. Um, but it was all right, I got it pumped up um, periodically, and then uh, when I got down to Conqueror's Apparel for their late night bike, up, bike night, I say Conqueror's Apparel, um, it's at the Route 1066 cafe down near Hastings. And it's a brilliant little cafe. Um, they put on a band and uh, yeah, had food and lots of bikes and lots of people all happy as Larry. Um, it was really cool. So yeah, it's really good music, really good people, lots and lots of motorcycles. Um, and Sam, the uh, co-runner of Congress Apparel, he loaned me a uh, tire plug set and another very friendly, happy chap down there. Uh, he loaned me his battery air compressor. So we. Uh, we got this bike back up and running with um, no dramas, which was epic. And it was really good to um, have a go at using one of those tire plugging things uh, for the first time. So I've got similar, which I use or would use if I got a puncture on my uh, Prudia. Um, but I didn't have that with me because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I really should get one for this bike and just shove it in under the seat um, um, because there's room for it. Certainly would have helped in that situation take the dodginess away from it quite so much but yeah I had hoped to uh, record a video while I was on my way down there and stuff uh, but stupidly I'd forgotten to put my memory card into the camera which was number one fail but with that puncture and stuff uh, all you would have got is swearing and angry man and frustration so it wouldn't have been a very good video anyway to slow down here don't I because you've got those busy bodies you've got those busy bodies I always tend to slow down for the 40s and 30s anyway um, yeah yeah I should have actually stuck behind that biker there uh, because my speed is still isn't accurate and I have no idea what speed I'm doing but let's uh, pump it down to 30 and if he starts catching up with me I know I'm going too too slow is why you do that through here. At least they had proper police here. Not that they are actually policemen, they're, they're just employed by the police rather than the local busybodies thinking that they're fucking Jesus. That's what we like, nationals. Oh, this bike is so lovely when you can get the throttle on a bit. And in this sort of urban clothing, I can move around quite comfortably too. So I'm not at all restricted by my fatness. I love this bike, I love this road. The trouble is this thing goes so fast, you really do catch up with traffic very, very quickly. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a clear run. I'll never get one on this road. You always catch up with them on the twisties because the cars can't go around corners apparently. Although the brakes on this work very well, I don't like the feel of them particularly. I just feel a bit wooden. But if you are clear, clear up ahead and you're in the right gear, you can be quite smooth along this road and it reduces the amount of mega braking you need to do you just got to read the road a little bit it's not like I'm Valentino Rossi trying to do a million billion miles an hour just a hundred thousand <laughs> oh look at this, I love this road, I love this road oh, that was 
trousers. It looks like I've had a clear run. It looks like I've had a clear run. You just don't get that along this road normally, especially not on a fast bike like this. Brilliant! Yeah, so leaning off this bike is so much easier for me in clothing that fits me properly. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm fat, but I'm definitely fat. <laughs> Wheelie on this thing, oops a daisy. <laughs> I keep forgetting just how playful this bike is. <laughs> Earlier on, the traffic was pretty bad, but it's uh, it seems all right now. I guess someone flipped the switch and they saw that I was out on my bike and wanting to play. <laughs> still a few cars, still a few dozy Sunday drivers, um, but nothing mega, nothing mega. Still plenty of dry tarmac to enjoy. Right, well we are just about at my destination of choice. If you stuck with me all the way, thanks for staying. Um, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a little thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. But anyway, you ride safe and take care and we shall catch you all in the next one. Bye bye, -bye for now. Keep that bar. Rubber sand down. Alright, let's go find a cup of tea.